I met a traveler from an antique land who said, Two vast and trunkless legs of stone stand in the desert. Near them, on the sand, half sunk, a shattered visage lies, whose frown and wrinkled lip and sneer of cold command tell that its sculptor, whose passions red which yet survive, stamped on those lifeless things, the hand that mocked them and the heart that fed, and on the pedestal of these words appear. My name is Ozymandias, King of Kings. Look on my works, ye mighty, in despair. Nothing beside remains, round the decay of that colossal wreck, boundless and bare the lone and level sands stretch far away. Hello, my name is Triadar. Today I'm going to be showing you how to build an Ozymandias statue in Minecraft. Let's get started. So you have seen the thumbnail. This is what we are going to be building today. This is my version of the Ozymandias statue, except uh, this version is going to be intact. Uh, if you want to build the Shattered Visage version, that is available over here. I've uh, copied and pasted that from the little uh, skit I did at the front with the poem and everything. So I hope you enjoyed that. So if you want to make the, the broken version, it's over here for you to take a look at as well. Uh, but I'm going to be showing you how to make the complete one today, because I think it'd just be a little bit more satisfying. Um, so uh, let's uh, take a quick look around. And as you can see, it's a very standard Egyptian-style statue with uh, the headdress, the double crown, the false beard, the, the uraeus on it as well, and uh, he's doing the standard uh, one foot forward pose of the ancient Egyptians as well, and standing on a base, which of course all good ancient Egyptian statues have to stand on a base. Of course, he has a flat and expressionless face, very flat. Um, and we also have some uh, diamond details here. We have a little diamond ankh uh, suspended on a pendant from his chest, a, a, uh, a suspended orb, inside this staff here. Uh, not sure what that does. Perhaps uh, perhaps it will lead you to a secret chamber in the city of Tanis, perhaps. Um, over here, he is, uh, of course, uh, also holding a, a large diorite onk in his other hand. So uh, with this statue, what you see is uh, what you get. It's um, It shouldn't be too difficult to build. At least, uh, definitely not to collect the materials for. Let's take a look at what you're going to need for this. So, uh, you will be needing uh, 1,444 blocks of granite, 578 blocks of diorite. Uh, if you want to fill this statue solid and not make it a shell, uh, you will uh, need an additional uh, 5,631 blocks of cobblestone, but the, this is optional. Uh, 692 blocks of cobbled deep slate. 864 blocks of obsidian, or uh, blackstone will do, perhaps polished blackstone if you don't want to use the obsidian. Uh, 27 blocks of diamond, or 27 blocks of gold, for those of you that uh, cannot afford to spend uh, this many diamonds just to decorating a statue. And of course, 5 blocks of glowstone. So, very simple materials, no stairs or half slabs involved in this. I mean, because it's so big, we don't really need those. Um, so the dimensions for the statue are as follows, including the base from all the way down here to the very top of the double crown. It is going to be 83 blocks tall, but the base is going to be 28 by 28. So to start with, you want to make a square of 28 by 28. And as you can see for this statue, I have sliced it up into a series of phases as I normally do, and each one is going to be one block taller than the previous phase because it's uh, it's quite a complex statue, so we need to have the extra detailing. Uh, but as I said, you want to make a square, 28 by 28, with your cobble deep slate. You can fill this in with cobble in the base if you if you so choose. You can you can definitely skip filling in the base probably. Uh, but for the statue, I have filled that in solid as we go, and up from that, for the next phase, we want to use in a 1 to 2 pattern here. As you can see, we want to alternate the cobbled deep slate with the obsidian, just like you see done right here. 
And once you've done that, you want to stack up another one exactly like that for level three. And for level four, to finish the base, we want to have this pattern here. And as you can see, the cobblestone here is marking out the location of the feet. All right, so uh, let's take some uh, measurements to properly uh, locate the statue on the base. So from this corner over here, which uh, if you're facing outwards this way, this should be the top left corner. You want to go over one, two, three, four, five blocks, back one, and then here you want to place um, a, a bit of cobble to mark out where we are going to be placing the, uh, you, you see the long staff he's holding there? That, that's the bottom right here of this block there. And then to locate the feet, let us go out an additional, what, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten blocks. And from here, we want to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten blocks again to get to here. And this will guide you in placing the, the feet right here for your statue. So it's going to be a three... Three blocks, well, no, four, four blocks wide, and uh, how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, nine, ten blocks that way for that. And between the feet, we have a uh, air gap space of four blocks. And then you want to place your feet here, and it's going to be what? One, two, three, four, ten, ten blocks for that again, and of course another four blocks across for that. And if you want to go ahead and skip ahead, you can make that out of granite like you see done here. So I'll just show you this from the top down. And of course we have just one little block of obsidian or uh, polished blackstone over here for the staff. Alright, so for the next phase uh, I'm going to ignore the staff for the most part. I'll just give you a quick look at this. All you're doing is stacking blocks up. It's only the uh, the block pattern that will change just a little bit as we go up and down the staff. Uh, here, here is a bit more of the feet. Uh, you're just stacking up granite here, as you can see. Uh, for this, I think that uh, I think the variation I have included in my in my texture pack here should be enough with the regular granite and the the variants here to help you count everything. Uh, but we've already placed the foundation for the feet, so you can see we just trim it back a little on the side over here for that foot, and for this one over here, we want to do the same. All right. Uh, so as we're going, uh, I'm showing you all the blocks pre-placed. Saves a lot of time. Um, uh, so the, the the format is that you should just pause and replicate the blocks that I'm showing you. It should be rather easy for this statue because of uh, the nature of it. Uh, so for those of you that need it, I will place uh, um, some half slabs on top of these to see this. Uh, realize the block you should be placing is directly beneath the half slab. And here are the, the slabs for that as well there from the top down. And the next phase over here, from the top down, we are starting to build a little bit of the ankles. As you can see here, we have cobblestone filling in the middle, like I said, but you can leave this hollow if you just want to make the, the exterior blocks. Like that there. Now here's a bit of more detail on the staff, as you can see. We've just got just two blocks of obsidian, a couple deep slate and backs to the obsidian. And then back to the cobbled deep slate. Most of the staff is cobbled deep slate, by the way. As we go. So over here we have our little anklets made out of diorite. Like that there. And then we have the same thing, but made out of the cobbled deep slate. Like you see done here. All right, for this next phase, we have a more cobbled deep slate again. Simple pattern right here. And over here for this one. 
All right, next phase. A little bit of dough right now. For the left leg over there and for the right one right there. All right, so a bit of granite here. Like so there, and I'm going to try and show you uh, the top down first before I place the slabs and then the slabs themselves. I know some of you can build only off the top down, but some of you need the extra detailing of the slabs. And so I'm going to be providing that for you. For those of you that can't use the world download, which is uh, provided in the video description, by the way, uh, that would be those of you on Bedrock. Okay, a bit more detailing for that. And uh, as we go, there isn't a whole lot for me to say regarding the statue. It's just very much just looking at things and placing half slabs from this point onwards. If there's uh, something interesting to remark on, I will. But in order to fit all of this into one video, which is generally, uh, which is generally limited, by how long I can talk and not stumble over my words for. Um, I'm going to probably not say a whole lot from uh, from this point forwards on here, because I imagine most of you are just doing a lot of uh, pausing and building each slice at your own rate of speed. So I'm going to let you do that as we go. And as I said, if there's anything interesting, I will say something later on. Okay, over here we have the bottom of the Ankh, which uh, he is holding over there, which we saw at the start. So that is uh, directly over four blocks from that point right there.
Okay, at this point we are beginning to join the legs together with the little uh, kilt that the statue is wearing. The standard Egyptian starched white kilt that they all like to wear in their uh, tomb paintings anyway. Doubt they wore that on a daily basis. And a bit more of the Ankh over there. Alright, so we are now uh, mostly finished with the legs, so from this point on the statue should be mostly a solid unit. But there are going to be a couple of places that we need to uh, place some freestanding blocks here still on the side for the arms.
All right, we are about halfway through with the statue. Getting ready to build one of the other arms now. And here for the staff. So you can see we have a couple of blocks of obsidian now on the staff here from this point. Now the arm is going to be uh, two blocks out from uh, this point here. At least uh, the back of it will be from, from that point there on the statue. Right there. And if you need to, remember I'm doing the half slab thing, so you can have a very accurate count of the shape of the blocks. Because uh, with the, the texture I'm using, it's uh, quite easy to see that. go let's take a look at the bottom of the arm here so you can see how those blocks are laid on top of there and we will move on to the next phase
And uh oh, it looks like I made a mistake in my slices here. There is one missing right here. Hmm. Fortunately, it's an easy slice. I think we can compensate for it. Uh, so right here, I will just show you that right there. And then below that, we're just placing one block right there for the staff. For the beard, we have uh, two blocks of obsidian right here. It's one block out from this here. And behind that, it looks like we're just stacking up first uh, obsidian and then diorite directly on top of each other. So that's fortunate. So as we go, you want to stack up two layers of granite here. And then below this, below the diorite, you want to make the band of obsidian, as you see done here. But we're going to be doing this uh, in a two-layer here, since uh, I messed up on that. So you want to do the, the, this layer right here two times. My apologies for the mistake. I did not catch that before I started recording. All right, last row back here. We're moving into the home stretch now. It won't take very long. We're just doing now the face right here. And then we'll be doing, of course, the, the rest of the headdress and then the double crown, and then we will be done. All right, we're installing our glowstone eyes right here. Almost done with the face now. And almost done with the staff as well. If you want to design something maybe a little bit different for your staff, uh, do feel free to do so. Maybe you want to have him holding a, a giant spear instead.
And I believe we uh, have finished the staff on the last phase. So from this point onwards, we will only be focusing on, it looks like we will be building the double crown for the Pharaoh of Upper and Lower Egypt, and then we will be done. So we are very much in the home stretch now. I don't think it's been too bad of a tutorial to do. Uh, quite a tall statue, but in terms of complexity, I think it's uh, somewhat reasonable. But it is large, so this is why it has its own video and is not part of the Egyptian statue series, which I already did instead of being part three. I thought this was uh, nice enough to have its own video. Almost done. I think, uh, hope you have your elytra fully repaired because if you fall from this height, you're definitely a goner. Not much left to do now. Just finishing off the last few blocks of the double crown. And for the last one, I went ahead and rounded up. And from the last one, you just want to place, uh, what? One, two, three more blocks of granite, like you see Don there, and your Ozymandias Egyptian pharaoh statue will be complete. And as one last thing for today, I want to come over here and give you a close-up view of the ruined statue in case some of you want to build one of those you can see it's the, the same until you get to the legs here and you just kind of uh, chop those in two right there and down here of course you want to have your pharaoh statue lying on its side and i'm not going to do another full tutorial for the ruined statue but i am going to give you a good view of it here so if you build the complete one, you can uh, figure it out from there as to how you want to make this one here. Just a good slow panning view along the sides here. You can pile up the sand around the statue in any position you want to. Um, and it is a ruined statue, so if you do build it, then you, you don't worry about getting a few blocks out of position here and there. I don't think it'll be a big deal. So I hope you have enjoyed the tutorial for the Ozymandias statue. Remember, the entire world is available for download for Java version in the video description. And I want to thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.